fail their plans to reopen, some local parents now find themselves at odds with the differing school schedules and their jobs. One Appleton mother shared her back-to-school worries with Local 5's Rhonda Fox. I want to be there for him for the, the three days that he's not going to be here, but I work full-time and my husband works full-time, so we're kind of in a in a predicament of what, what do we do? Shannon says she's added frustration to her school shopping list because balancing work and child care will be tough this year. They don't seem to understand right now that the predicament that working parents are in, and so that's kind of frustrating for a lot of us. The school district's Safe and Resilient Return Plan offers in-person classes five days a week for kids up to the fourth grade and a mix of virtual and in-person learning for grades 5 through 12. We just were not able to provide that fully in-person in a safe manner uh, that, you know, EC through grade 6, the way our elementary schools are configured, they're already overcrowded. Uh, we are using every nook and cranny, and so for us to be able to do the distancing and get those numbers down, we had to look at other options for our, for our older students. Some employers can't parallel Appleton area school district schedule, leaving parents with tough choices. If you want to keep a roof over your head, you have to pick your job and then your kids are being left home alone. So it's kind of a scary thing for a lot of parents, I think. So looking to see how our Boys and Girls Club or YMCA uh, care providers could assist us in providing a safe environment uh, for families who might need access to help with supervision and, and child care. So those plans are moving right along and uh, we fully expect that that'll be an option for families who need it. In Appleton, Rhonda Fox.